All right, hello and welcome to Animation Flash Lesson 4. And this is uh, animating buttons using movie clip symbols. And what I've already done, I've already done the actual activity. And the, the focus of what you're doing for this activity is basically, we still have the old animation from last lesson where you had the dragonfly that flies from here to there. What you want to do now is we are creating this play button and the animations around this play button so notice I'm in my test here so when I click this it actually runs it so that allows me to rerun the animation so let's go ahead and get us started what I've done is I've pulled up the original dragonfly that we created last time and I'm starting on the steps as indicated in flash 8-24 I want to verify the Dragonfly document is open, which I did. I want to insert. I want to do a new symbol. And I want to type play, because this is going to be my play symbol. Uh, play in the name text box and make sure it's a button. Very, very good. And then I push OK. Now, it's good. then I have, remember when I'm working with buttons, I have up, over, down, and hit. I want to click the up frame on layer one. There, so I want to make sure I'm on the up and I'm going to type the word play so here's my text and I'm gonna write here and I type the word play P L A Y now what goes on here is I want to change the properties of this now the color is originally black I've already changed it to my uh, dragonfly wing color it's going to be Veron Verdana right and bold right and then black now my issue here is I did not have the item selected so I'm going to select it and I'm going to change it to black and that should change it there's my black okay and I type the word play excellent I click the selection tool right here and drag the animated left wings movie clip symbol so I'm in my library animated left wings movie clip symbol and I'm going to drag that to the left of play and then I'm going to drag the animated right wing movie symbol and I'm going to drag that to the right of play I'm going to click the selection tool so I have that click the word play in the stage okay so basically the front player right so the word player show right click selection tool oh okay so now what I'm basically doing is according to seven is I'm taking the dropper from uh, my here's my dropper and I'm basically taking this and I'm moving it to this right can I do that no because it's a bad person so let's do it of course so on the tools man I click the word play in the stage click text fill color box and the properties position eyedropper corner of New England click OK so I want to make sure to click this and then I want to click this and then I have play selected and I want to do the text fill color block which looks like I did this last time hold on just one little minute so basically what happens is I make sure that play is selected then I make sure my properties window is selected then I hit this text fill right here and it comes across as this eyedropper what I want to do is I then want to take my eyedropper over the wings and it should turn play to the same color as the wings itself which is excellent uh, now the same color I want to insert a keyframe on the hit so I want to do insert timeline and I want to do keyframe that's a keyframe on my hit uh, select the rectangle tool on the tools panel and I draw around it so I want to draw a rectangle around my items so I draw a rectangle around my items so there we go click the selection tool which is this I'm gonna click back to scene one right then what I'm going to do is it says insert a new layer above the dragonfly layer name it button so I'm on my dragonfly layer I want to insert I want to do timeline layer and I'm gonna call this one button b-u-t-t-o-n right and then I want to click frame one on the button then I want to drag the play button symbol from the library panel so here's my library and I'm gonna drag my play button symbol right here which is what I created uh, to the right hand corner of the stage which is right there so it says play insert a new layer above uh, right right insert a new player above the button layer the name it action so I'm right here I want to insert I want to do insert timeline a layer 
there's my layer right there. I'm going to name that Actions. I want to open my Actions panel, then flame, Frame 1 right here. So I've clicked on Frame 1, and now what I want to do is I want to go to Window, and I want to go to Actions. Once I click my Actions, I want to, there's my Frame 1, I want to verify that my script button is pushed, and I want to add new script item, and I want to choose global functions, and I want to choose timeline control, and stop, right? So here's stop. So there's my stop action. So, here we go. I've now inserted a stop action on this bad boy right here. And it says the wings flutter in the animated button, but it really is not doing a whole lot. So what I want to do is I want to do control, test movie, in Flash Professional, and my wings are fluttering. And it really doesn't do anything because the stop action is associated with this button. right? So, after I do that, I want to close the selection tool and click the play button on the stage to select it. There's my play button on the stage to select it. Display the actions panel. So I want to do my uh, window and I want to make sure my actions panel is up. And I make sure my play button is selected. There's my play button. Now what I'm going to add on. So I'm going to add global functions, movie clip control, and I'm going to choose on. So here's on right here. And that's going to be saying on release. And then I'm going to add and global functions, timeline control, go to, and it's going to be frame two. So basically what's going to happen is, is when I click this particular button, it's going to go to and play starting at frame two. So there's that part. And now it says, choose, change, right, click frame 30 on the actions layer. So frame 30 on the actions layer, which is right here. And I want to do, click insert timeline blank keyframe. Sorry, insert timeline blank keyframe. So now I've inserted a blank keyframe there, so it should uh, stop everything at the very end. Add a new item to the script button. I want to, hmm, click add new item to the script button. So I want to add new item to the script. And I want to choose global functions, and I want to choose timeline control, and I want to choose stop. So I want to stop it. So I'm going to insert a blank keyframe and stop. Click control test in Flash Professional. So control test movie in Flash Professional, and then I click this, and my bug goes there. And at the very end, there I am. I could click it again. All right. Well. This concludes Lesson 4, Animate Buttons Using Movie Clip Symbols of Chapter 8. If you have some questions for me, by all means, let me know. Otherwise, we are going along swimmingly. Chapter 8 only has a few sections left. In fact, it only has... No, this was actually... We have one more le lesson uh, left, and it's uh, Edit in Animation Using the Motion Editor. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you in Lesson 5 of Chapter 8. Thank you very much for your time. Ask your questions as you like.